Hey everyone, welcome to episode 2 of Ask Windows Central. On this episode, we're going to be talking about the Surface Duo. When's it going to get Android 11 and should you buy one now? Also, what about Sun Valley and Windows 11? Should they actually rename it? Why would they do that? Plus, what about the dev channel? Does it actually have Sun Valley components in it? All that and more. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's dive straight in, I guess. Uh, first question for Michael. Uh, where is Android 11 for Surface Duo and why is it taking so long? All right, so I bet you also have some input on this, but yeah, Android 11 is still not here. We are hearing later this summer, although that could all you know mean all the way up to the end of August, maybe even until September. We don't have a firm ETA. We just know that they are testing it right now, but it is definitely taking longer than, you know, we would like it to be, especially since Android 12 is kind of now in very early beta. It's way too early still. But yeah, Android 12 is, you know, approaching fast and maybe out later this year. So, you know, that is a bummer. That said, I'm not that crazy about Android 11. I mean, it's nice. The notifications look better and there's some mild improvements here and there. The big deal is supposed to be that there's going to be better dual screen support. But even there, it's still a little bit like iffy as to what's the major changes. So um, I'm not really expecting major differences with Android 11, but maybe later this summer. Zach, do you have any input on this? Yeah, we've not heard specifically any major new features with Android 11. It just might run better. And obviously you get the Android 11 features out of box. Uh, but in addition to that, I've also heard we might see Android 11 for the Surface Duo begin showing up in all. August, so later summer than earlier summer, unfortunately. Um, and I'm not too sure why that might be the case. I think it may be because they're sort of developing the Android 11 release alongside Surface Duo 2. And Duo 2 is supposed to launch in sort of October timeframe. So it would make sense for them to finalize Android 11 developments in August almost. So that's what we think is happening. Android 11 for Surface Duo will be in August. We're not expecting huge new features. Would be nice to see them, but we've not heard anything specific just yet. Yeah, uh, let's be honest here. Microsoft is just focused on bug fixes and making sure everything works before adding new features. And they're getting better, but it's still a path for them to go. All right, Zach, this one's for you. Why do you think Microsoft might announce Sun Valley as Windows 11? So this is, I think, in, re in reference to an editorial I wrote a week or two ago where I basically said, Microsoft, it's time for Windows 11. And since then, the people in the community have sort of been like, are they going to call it Windows 11? Uh, I think they're going to call it Windows 11. I actually do. Um, I think it makes sense considering what Sun Valley is, this new UX with new features and uh, a renewed interest in trying to push Windows as a platform that creates innovation. Making a Windows 11 is an easy way to generate hype and to market the platform as something new. We've had Windows 10 for six years now uh, and it's done well, you know, it, it's done what it was supposed to do. But branding the next Windows update Windows 11 would tell the world that, oh, hang on, this is serious business. We've got some new stuff here. This isn't just another Windows 10 feature update. Whatever's happening in this release is big enough for them to want to increment the number by one to Windows 11. Now, Windows 11 specifically, a lot of people have issue with it because, you know, it doesn't sound as nice as Windows 10. It's not a round number. Uh, and other people have suggested maybe dropping the number and just calling it Windows. There's arguments for and against that, but I personally think Windows 11 is the best choice. And, you know, perhaps Microsoft is considering that. Um, but yes, I definitely think with Sun Valley, they're going to try and brand it as something not Windows 10 uh, because of the hype reason and marketing. You call it Windows 11, uh, this fall when OEM starts shipping hardware with new Windows 11 PCs. That's an easy way to market your device, right? New logo, new iconography, new sort of product shots with Windows 11. Windows 11 becomes a selling point. So that helps OEM, it helps Microsoft. Um, and yeah, I, I genuinely think based on what we know about Sun Valley, they will call it Windows 11 or not Windows 10. And they're certainly teasing it as a major update has happened just recently this week at Microsoft Build, where CEO Satya Nadella got on stage and only spent a minute talking about Windows, but it was an important minute where they talked about it being the biggest update in over a decade. 
So that's some uh, tough shoes to fill, but we'll have to wait and see later this summer to see what actually and He happens. also referred to it as the next generation of Windows, as did Panos Panay back in February. This is interesting wording for a company that for so long has been trying to position Windows 10 as the last version of Windows. If they were going to keep calling it Windows 10, why would they not just say the next version of Windows 10 or even the next generation of Windows 10? Them dropping the number and calling it the next generation of Windows. I mean, they know what they're saying, right? They know what they're doing. They're dropping subtle hints here. I definitely think this release, this Sunvive release, will be called something more than Windows 10. Okay, up next, a question from Francisco. Would you recommend Surface Duo as a multimedia device? And should I buy a Surface Duo now? So we get this question asked a lot, you know, how do you use Surface Duo? And it's really important. As a multimedia device, it's okay. Um, dual screens offer some unique you know, opportunities, obviously you can, you know, play a game on one side while watching a video on the other. So there's some cool stuff there, but also this, you know, we're seeing something like a Samsung device has a higher refresh rate, right? So better speakers, better cameras. So these are kind of better multimedia devices. This is definitely geared more towards productivity and work where there, I think it actually does quite well so you know it's okay as a multimedia device but you do get the black bars because of the weird aspect ratio so i wouldn't buy it for that but i don't mind using it for that obviously i watch videos and tiktoks on it just like any other phone now regarding the second question should you get one now so the reason a lot of people are bringing this up is because now we are starting to see the heavy discounts especially in the united states as stock is you know starting to dwindle down because yes we do expect version two of this device later this year and that's not uncommon right when a device is being phased out for the new version you see price drops so now you're seeing prices around six to seven hundred dollars which is actually pretty compelling for a lot of people that's for, you know price point a lot of people would say uh, that they would purchase that that said no i, I still unless you're an early adopter you're okay with spending 600 bucks for kind of a really you know beta device that you're willing to trade in for version two in less than six months uh, if you're doing that then sure go for it but if you're like i only buy phones every two years kind of person no wait for version two we're hearing a lot about version two we're, we'll have more about that later on but version two is going to be a pretty major hardware update. And it, like we've said before on the podcast, these are the obvious things, the 5G, NFC, all the things that are missing in version one will be in version two. And if that's important to you, wait for that. All right, Zach, this question's for you. Are the current builds in the dev channel part of Sun Valley? Technically, yes but you're not seeing much of Sun Valley yet. It's, it's kind of interesting how Microsoft is developing this release of Windows. They're trying to keep it very secret internally. Uh, they've gone to a lot of effort in sort of making it so a lot of these new features are what they refer to as undocked from the operating system. And what this essentially means is they can update these specific sort of shell components or features independently from the OS. We've already started to see it really with, you know, the snipping tool, which is now updated via the Microsoft Store uh, and via these feature experience packs. A lot of the Sun Valley UX, at least internally right now, is delivered via the same way. The new sort of start menu and the center taskbar experiences and whatnot. Uh, it's all part of the feature experience pack. And that allows Microsoft to build this up without showing the world all the stuff they're working on because all of these feature experience packs are separate from the OS. So Microsoft can ship a build to the Insider program that looks just like Windows 10 with no real new features in it. Meanwhile, internally, they're working on all of these new user experiences, uh, part of these feature experience packs. And when they're ready to show them to the world, that's when they release them as an update, either via the Microsoft Store app or Windows Update. And that's when you start to see all of the significant Sun Valley UX stuff. But as of right now, you're seeing basically none of it, even though most of it exists internally and is almost done. Uh, and that's because Microsoft wants to sort of make it a big deal. They want to have an event where they announce this new stuff on stage before they start rolling it out to insiders. And this is how they're doing that. All right. So that does it for this episode of Ask Windows Central. Now, if you have a question, you can email me at daniel at windowscentral.com. Just put Ask Windows Central in the subject line as I get a ton of email and I want to file those appropriately. You can also ask us questions on Twitter at Daniel underscore Rubino or Zach at Z-A-C-B-O-W-D-E-N. And we'll see if we pick your question for next time. As always, thanks for tuning in. Take care, everyone.